In the early 1970s, Dr. Viktor Adamenko, a physicist from Ukraine, captivated the entire scientific community with his groundbreaking research into a phenomenon that he termed bioplasma. His work was directed to bridge the gap between biology and physics, suggesting that living organisms might possess a subtle form of energy, previously unrecognized by conventional science. But what exactly is bioplasma, and why did it stir such interest and controversy? Dr. Viktor Adamenko, he was not a fringe scientist. He had a reputable background in plasma physics, which is the study of ionized gases, an area critical to understanding everything from neon signs to the behavior of stars. It was during his research on high-frequency electromagnetic fields that he began to notice unusual patterns in biological systems. These patterns, he hypothesized, could be explained by the presence of a fourth state of matter in living organisms, which he called bioplasma. According to Adamanko, it's an energy field generated by living cells. Unlike the well-known forms of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, Bioplasma was believed to be a form of highly energized matter, existing in a state similar to plasma. This state, he argued, might be responsible for the subtle energy fields that had been reported in various biological and paranormal studies, such as auras or the healing powers attributed to certain individuals. His theory suggested that bioplasma could be composed of charged particles, ions, and electrons that go ahead and interact with the electromagnetic fields within and outside of living organisms. He proposed that this bioplasma might influence cellular processes in ways not fully understood by traditional biology. For instance, it could explain how cells communicate over short distances without direct physical contact, or how certain healing processes might be accelerated. The scientific community met Dr. Adamanko's ideas with skepticism. While the concept of plasma is well established in physics, the notion that it could exist within living organisms as a distinct, observable entity was contentious. Critics argued that the experiments lacked the rigor and reproductibility needed to substantiate such a bold claim. Some accused him of venturing into pseudoscience, especially given the connections between his work and more speculative fields like parapsychology. Despite the controversies, Adamanko's work laid the foundation for further inquiry into bioenergetics. It's a field that continues to explore the intersection between biology and physics. Today, while bioplasma, as Adamanko described it, remains unproven, his ideas have inspired researchers to investigate bioelectrical properties of cells, the role of electromagnetic fields in biology, and the potential for novel medical therapies based on these principles. His exploration of bioplasma may have been ahead of its time, or it may have been fundamentally flawed. We're just not sure yet. But his willingness to challenge the boundaries of conventional science it really opens your eyes. It invites you to consider and reconsider the complexities of life and the possibility that some aspects of biology might still be beyond our current understanding. Whether bioplasma is ever validated, that's going to be up to you, the listener, to try to figure out. These are Interesting Things with J.C.